What's up, trainers? It's your boy Drizzy back again with another tabletop match. Today we have Johnny playing Tapu Bulu with the promo Lorantis, and myself, I am playing Ninetales Decidueye. This match was actually really close. I hope you enjoy. Uh, this angle, I think, is one of the best ones we've had, so can't complain there. The camera wasn't shaking, so it's going to be a good match. Now, I won the coin toss, so I will be going first. As you saw, I started with a, a Lolan Vulpix. Uh, couldn't quite see what Johnny started with. I believe it was a Tapu Bulu, if I'm not mistaken. You know, shake hands. Even though I'm, I don't really like Johnny like that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, so I'm going to drop a turn. We see I top deck a Sycamore. That Sycamore could be of use if I have nothing else. I have an Ultra Ball. What am I going to... Yep, okay, so I have an... Sycamore and N and the uh, second Sycamore. I discard both Sycamores. Uh, this version doesn't play Vile Plume. I'm, I usually play Vile Plume with Decidueye, but I decided to try this out with the Nine Tails. I'm grabbing the Lele. I'm gonna use a Wonder Tag ability. Uh, hence my tapping on the card. People will sometimes do that to let their opponent know, you know, I'm playing this card. I played Bridget uh, that I grabbed from the Wonder Tag, and I'm gonna grab three basic Pokemon or one EX. I'm choosing to go with three basics, grabbing another Alolan Vulpix and two Rowlets, trying to get my uh, Decidueye's out as fast as I can with that Forest of Giant Plants. I see I have four cards. I've already used Bridges, so I can't use the N, but it's fine. You know, I got a pretty good setup. I pass the turn. Johnny top decks that Lele, that top deck life. He attaches that Fighting Fury about on Bulu. Bulu right now is actually at a pretty high HP for me to knock out if I want to one-shot it. And when I mean one shot, I mean, you know, putting damage on with Feather Arrows and then using Nine Tails, maybe Ice Path GX to uh, transfer all damage counters onto that Bulu. So Johnny used an Ultra Ball. Wonder what he's going to grab. Uh, he discarded a Sycamore and a second Fighting Fury Belt. So he grabs that uh, Formantis. He actually plays that Promo Lorantis, as I mentioned earlier. And that Promo Lorantis actually adds 20 more damage to your Grass Pokemon's attacks. So right now, Tapu Bulu's Horn Attack, its first attack for one Grass, does 30. That Lorantis will give it an additional 20, for, so it'll be doing 50 total. And he has that Fighting Fury Belt, giving him 10 more. Johnny played that Shaman, and I can see that he grabbed a Bulu GX, which he places down, and he actually finds that energy. Um, if he doesn't play that Force of Giant Plants, he can't evolve right away, so he won't be using Lorantis' ability. We see the Wonder Tag, though, come in, and he grabs a Sycamore. Well, maybe not, Johnny. Johnny juke me. He's grabbing a Lysander. I wonder what he's going to bring up. That's, that's that's an interesting play. Maybe he sees something he doesn't want to go up against later on. It might be one of my uh, Rowlets or a Lele. He might also want, not want me to use uh, Vulpix's uh, no attack cost, which is uh, Beacon. Helps me find two Pokemon from my uh, deck. So yeah, we see the Lysander for the Rowlet, and he does 40 damage with that Horn Attack. I draw for turn, I, I get that grass energy. Okay, I, I evolve one of my Rallets, my bench Rallet, into Dartrix, and I play that end that I had in my hand. So that Dartrix that I evolved on my bench, I probably didn't want to do that on my active since it already has damage. You know, I don't want to lose both Rallet and Dartrix, uh, even though I do run Revitalizers, but you never want to use those early on unless it's a necessity. Like, you absolutely have to. So we both end. Johnny has some more energy, I see. I think that's a Lele in his hand as well. I got an energy. A couple supporters and an Ultra Ball, as from, from what I can tell. Okay, so I did find another Dartrix. I'm able to evolve the active one. And I have the Ultra Ball. I might be going for the Decidueye, just to get some uh, damage out early. I'm discarding the Grass Energy. Yes, I am. Okay, I thought I was going to juke myself as well. And I discard an Olympia. Olympia is a great card in this deck, uh, simply because a lot of my Pokemon, when evolved, have heavy retreat costs. And I am very limited on uh, energies. I run four Grass and four Double Colorless. So as you guys saw, I grabbed that Shaman, hoping to draw into more cards. I put the Double Colorless on the Vulpix. Maybe I'm looking to get uh, the Alolan Ninetales and be able to attack with it right away. I see a Rallet, another Ultra Ball, and I found the Forest in my hand. The Forest comes up. I'm able to evolve all my Grass Pokemon on the same turn that I play them. Discarding a Rallet and an N. 
with my Ultra Ball, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go for the Decidueye. Yep. And I put it on my active. The reason I put it on my active is I don't want to lose that uh, Dartrix that easily. And uh, my Decidueye actually has a heavy, heavy HP. So it's going to be tough for the Bulu to knock it out. And I'm going to put Feather Arrow 20 damage onto the active Bulu. So right now it's at 220 with that Fighting Fury Belt. So Johnny Top decks another good card, the Lorantis promo. Places it onto his uh, Formantis. Johnny with the top decks today, man. Attaches uh, a Grass Energy from hand. Let's see what else. A Field Blower discarding my uh, Forest of Dragon Plants. I do run four, so hopefully I'm able to find some more quickly. And he lice he via Seekers for the Lysander, bringing up my Lone Vulpix. And with that uh, Lorantis, which I'm checking, it does knock it out because he's doing a total of 60 evenly. So that top deck that he had is actually helping him uh, proceed with the game state in his favor. We see myself deciding whether or not to bring up that Shaman and either attach a DCE and Sky Return, but I am gonna bring up the Lele, which it can also take a DCE and start putting heavy damage on that Bulu if the Bulu has a lot of energy attached to it. So you saw that I evolved my second Dartrix into Decidueye and I'm playing the Sycamore for a fresh new hand. I might be trying to get a DCE so I can start putting damage onto this Bulu along with the Feather Arrow. So I do have that DCE and I believe I see two Decidueyes in my hand. I have the Float Stone onto my Decidueye. Maybe not. I got juked again. Alright, so yeah, the DCE does come onto the Lele. And I will Feather Arrow twice onto the Bulu. Adding 40 damage, so it's at 60, and I will energy drive for 2, 4, 6, 8, doing a total of 120 damage that turn, along with the other two damage counters that I had previously. So right now it is at 140, so it has 80 damage left thanks to that uh, Fighting Fury Belt, but we do see Johnny actually flip over his GX marker, and he's going to use Tapu Wilderness GX. It does 150, knocking out the Lele, and it heals all damage from that Bulu GX. That was a great play by him. So I am down six prizes to three. He has three left. I still have my full six. So see, I held on to this uh, Float Stone to make sure that it wouldn't get Field Blowered away. I attach the Grass Energy and I play Sycamore, discarding both Decidueye GXs that I had in my hand. I'm gonna draw a fresh hand of seven. So I can still use Hollow Hunt if I need those uh, Decidueyes back. So I see two Dartrixes and a DCE and a VS Seeker. So I have the Ninetales as well. Evolve the Ninetales. I feel Blower. Yep, this uh, Fighting Free about this caused me some trouble since it puts it at 220, but now it's at 180. So we saw me use Feather Arrow right now twice onto the active Bulu. And I believe my play here is to Hollow Hunt. Well, not necessarily my play, but I believe that's what I did, if I remember correctly. I'm going to Hollow Hunt, searching for three cards in my discard pile, and put them into my hand. It is the attack, so I can't you do anything else. I can't play them. Um, I'll just have to wait till next turn, and hopefully I don't get end. So yes, I flipped over my GX marker, and I'm going to grab the Revitalizer to bring back maybe those Decidueyes, the Forest, and a Rowlet. We do know that I have two Dartrixes in my hand, so I might be able to get out all four if I play this right. It is my turn, that, so it ended with that GX attack. Johnny drew for turn, I'm not sure exactly what he grabbed. Um, we see a grass energy, basic grass energy, come down onto his benched Bulu GX. And Lele, Wonder Tag ability. Let's see what he's gonna grab. Okay, a Lysander. I was thinking he was going to go for the end, simply because uh, he knows exactly what I grabbed and it might be able to swing the game in my favor. Uh, he grabbed the life center, but he actually chooses to Hex Maniac. Okay, so he that shuts off all my abilities, whether I play another Shaman, a Bulu, and my Feather Arrows, and he attacks with Nature's Judgment, doing only 120. He doesn't want to discard his basic energies yet, simply because there's no need if he cannot one-shot me. You see me play down the Force Giant Plants, the Dartrix that I, I mean the Rallet that I grabbed, the Dartrix both come down onto play and then I will Revitalizer for both of my Decidueyes. So now I'm going to have four Decidueyes out, meaning I can do 80 damage uh, on any given turn, but I can't use it this turn because of the Hex Maniac. 
and you're gonna see me I was thinking for a while excuse the cutscenes um, uh, it was just a lot of thinking going on with these decks you want to know exactly where to put uh, the feather arrows I wasn't able to obviously in this turn but I was still trying to think of what, what my next move was I VS Seeker for the end bringing Johnny down to three making sure he probably doesn't have another VS Seeker in his hand I want to shorten that hand uh, so he doesn't spam me again with that hex And I get actually six cards. So you see an energy, an ultra ball, level ball, four is the giant plants, another energy, and a fighting fury belt. That fighting fury belt is used mostly for the Lele. Uh, I don't have any Lele's right now. Retreat into Nine Tails. The bad thing is that I already used my Hollow Hunt, so I can't counterattack with Ice Path GX, which uh, makes me move all damage counters from Aloma Nine Tails onto my opponent's active Pokemon. Um, I know that Bulu can hit for high numbers with the Lorantis promo, so if I were able to use that Ice Path GX, it'd be money. But I can't, so I have to stick with the Ice Blade attack, doing 50 damage to my opponent's Pokemon. So Johnny here plays a Max Elixir, trying to find that energy to place onto his Bulu, or any basic he chooses. He fails that. Um, he's been on a roll, though, with the top decks. Let's see what else he has up his sleeve. So he still find, manages to find the energy from his hand, he attaches it to his Bench Bulu. That Bench Bulu has two energies now. And the active Bulu actually has enough for Nature Judgment and Well. Now we're going to see if Johnny wants to attack with that or his first attack. So he's going to use Nature's Judgment and he's going to discard all energies attached to it. So he does a total of 200, leaving my Ninetales with only 10 damage left. If this Ninetales goes, I don't have a main attacker. So it's going to be a little tougher for me to come back uh, from this game. I do have that Grass Energy, so if I can find one more, I can put damage onto uh, any of his Pokemon and put a little more pressure to try and help me out. So lo and behold, I do have that energy. I attach it to Ninetales, so I can do 50 along with 80 damage from my Feather Arrow. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4 onto the active. That puts it at 100 and... Let's see... 120, exactly. And I can do Ice Blade for another 50. If I had a Choice Band, it'd be a knockout. Uh, but I don't, so it leaves Tapu Bulu with 10 damage left on it. Uh, we see Johnny with another Max Elixir, see if he can hit it this time. We see four or five cards and... Okay, so the last card, last card magic. He does find that uh, third energy to play on his bench Pokemon. He can still attach from hand. And I believe he had a card. He might, be, yep, he might have it, or he might have a float. Okay, so he does have that grass energy, and he's able to attack to knock me out, leaving him with two, one prize left. So he's down to one prize. I still have six. It is looking terrible for a Drizzy myself. I'm over here shaking my head at myself while I'm watching this video. So I have a, I have a Via Seeker um, that might be able to, to help me with the N. But I do choose to retreat. Uh, the Floatstone Decidueye does have damage and I don't want to bring it up. I bring up a fresh Decidueye via Seeker. See what I'm going to grab. So I'm going to grab, I think that's the Lysander. Yep, I grab the Lysander and I bring up the Lorantis, the Promo Lorantis. It is the Pokemon with the heaviest retreat cost. It has two, while the Lele's only have one. So I'm using this as like a stall tactic. As you see, I used one Feather Arrow, knocking out the Benched Bulu with the damage on it, taking two prizes. And I have three more, so I can do 60 onto the Benched Bulu. Actually, no. I chose to do only one Feather Arrow onto the Benched Bulu. And here I am thinking, I believe I placed two more, so 40 damage on the Shaman. So next turn, if I do have all four decision wise, I can knock out the Shaman for another two prizes. Uh, we see me pass, because I can't attack with no energies. Johnny draws for turn. Uh, he grabs one energy, and I counted his deck. Uh, I know I, I cut out the scene where I checked his discard, but he was running really, really low on energies, either in his deck or in his hand. And he actually ends himself to one. Just trying to get something out there. As you see, I'm right here counting the energy he had. I know he usually runs either 9 or 10, maybe 11. So I was getting an idea in my head that he needs to find 
another energy to retreat. And we saw exactly that one card that he ended himself to. It was a Sycamore. I don't know that yet. Uh, so in my head, I'm thinking, you know, this game might turn around and uh, become my game to win. So he passes. I'm going to go for... I'm thinking of where to put this Feather Arrow damage. So four of them to the Shaman, like I mentioned before, taking my two prizes. Uh, doesn't give me much that I can work with. I need a DCE to at least uh, start attacking. And I pass. I can't attack Johnny Sycamores. Uh, he did have that uh, the baby four mantis that he top decked, so he placed that down Sycamore for a fresh new hand. I don't see any energy in his hand, so he needs to have a, another energy attach it to Lorantis and retreat in order for him to win. So we see here he is going to Super Rod. And the smart play here would be to do, yep, three energies. He's going to need at least one energy to attach to Lorantis, retreat, and attack with uh, the fully loaded Bulu. Now, uh, we see the Max Elixir, which he can use, but he can't attack to the, attach to the active. I'm sorry. He can't attach to the active, so that won't work. He needs to do a pro play right here, see if he can pull it off. So we see the Rescue Stretcher. He's going to grab the Shaman. Okay, that's a good play. Helping him draw into cards. We see he has a Seeker in his hand as well. So he might be able to Seeker for a Sycamore. Although he does have a pretty big deck size still. So let's see. We're going to go... Okay, Shaman for two, I believe. One. And I think he got that energy. The first deck, that first card that he pulled. I'm sorry, not deck. First card that he pulled is the energy. And if he attaches... Yep, he was just playing mind games with me. I shake hands. He actually wanted to play it out for you guys um, excuse the gentleman he was only spectating he didn't know that the camera was right behind him so he attaches the both energies he retreats and he brings up the Tapu Bulu with the choice band right now doing 180 damage choice band does 210 and the two Lorantises bump it up to 250, knocking out my 240 HP Decidueye. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Johnny played a really great game. Go waste on that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, train on.